Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back. We have massive news from the CS2 community. Yesterday, all of a sudden, Valve executed a VAC ban wave. If on a regular day we had about 180, 200, 120 people getting VAC banned uh, on the usual, yesterday we had 7200 people get VAC banned. And VAC bans in general aren't uncommon, they happen to a lot of cheaters, but this time, this time it was different, because innocent people were actually VAC banned, even people that never cheated, never thought about cheating, never played with a cheater in his lobby, basically as clean as possible. One of them is my friend Pikachu from my Discord server, and he got the VAC ban, he was the only one from the server, but still, it sucks. Thankfully, today they started actually lifting these bans, 4,300 already lifted, and potentially 3,000 more if all of those 7,000 were uh, false bans. And the reason why this was so scary is that whenever you get banned in CS2, you lose access to your inventory. Therefore, all those people that had tens of thousands of dollars in skins, they no longer had access to them and thought that they lost that. My friend Pikachu has like over $30,000 in his Steam inventory, so that would have been a strategy for him to lose all of that, but thankfully he got his ban lifted actually, yesterday evening. I believe this was caused by the NVIDIA drivers once again, and I'm kinda thankful that uh, I don't auto-update my NVIDIA card, right? I, uh, I, I have uh, an NVIDIA card, but I don't auto-update it, I manually update it, I give it a couple of days to see how it goes, and that's the only time I update them. So yeah, uh, I, I'm a little thankful for the fact that I'm doing this practice, and I kind of suggest you do the same thing, because uh, uh, this is not the first time this is happening. It has actually happened to Neon, a really big CS trader as well, who had like over $100,000 in his inventory when he got VAC banned, and then the ban got lifted, so it's all good. But yeah, I'm just really glad that a lot of people that did receive a false back ban had it already removed, and if you haven't, then maybe you just wait a little bit, message support about it, and you should get it removed, because like, it does get removed very, very consistently. I don't really know anyone that still has the back ban that they got falsely, right, not for good reasons. Many people were speculating that this has to do with the fact that they're trying out a new VOC, right, a new VOC system. And potentially this could have been their first deployment of this system, but um, you can see that it led to a lot of false bans. It's not clear Valve doesn't actually communicate this type of information to us. People are just speculating about that possibility. But yeah, anyway, I hope you stayed safe. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you did receive a VAC ban, because uh, that's a hell of a lot of false bans, and potentially that could happen again. Thank you for watching till the end of the video, and please do smash the like button, because for every single like, my channel gets uh, about one cent, like one dollar cent in revenue, so that's helping a lot. Thank you very much. But yeah, anyway, may Lord Gaben bless you with some stonks, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.